for your body to paragraph, you're just going to do the exact same thing that you've been doing. Okay. Um, you, you just did this for body paragraph one, and you've done it a couple of times before for your, um, in shorter responses, you did it for Amelia Earhart, you did it for recess versus suspension. So you've got this, you have everything you need, okay? And you're probably getting pretty good at it. So the first thing is you're gonna find an introduce a claim phrase. Remember that you have access to that in um, either your student resource book or you have a handout. So, um, and of course you can look at my screen right now. So you've, uh, to introduce a claim, we are going to now um, use one of these phrases. Now this is our second claim. So you're gonna pick the phrase, another reason or the next reason. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Just pick one and write it, okay? Okay, and you're gonna bold it of course. So I'm gonna say another reason. I will say if you say the next reason, it sort of implies that there's going to be a third one and you're not doing a third one. So maybe just go with another reason. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. And then you're going to unbold it and you're going to restate your thesis. So whatever your thesis is, right? Students should have six to eight hours of homework a night. Cell phones should be allowed in schools. Cell phones should not be allowed in schools. Again, you could probably, if you wanted, just come up to your thesis and copy and paste. Okay, so another reason, I'm going to pull it back down here. What am I talking about? That cell phones should not be allowed in schools. Again, that may not be what you're writing, and that's okay. Him. And then give another reason. This is going to be the last reason you have up here. Remember how you had three reasons? Yesterday you used two of them. Okay. So this should be your last reason. If you're realizing, oh man, my last reason doesn't make any sense, or it just doesn't work for whatever reason, then just pick a different one and you can find the evidence for it. All the way away. All the way away. Okay, so find your third reason. So I'm gonna put, my third reason is going to be the very original, blah, blah. Yours should be more specific. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I saw you here typing. Now, the next thing you should do is evidence. You should be introducing evidence. So again, this is gonna be a quote and you need to find an introduce evidence phrase, which you're gonna find on slide 12 or on your handout, okay? <clears throat> again, guys, it's, you're probably going to go to according to, okay. Um, so go ahead and do that. Find which one you want. And again, it's going to be in bold. So according to, and then do your quote. Oh, wait, according to blank comma, and then do your quote. And remember that your quote is not going to start with a capital letter anymore, even if it started with a capital letter in the uh, first place. Okay. <coughs> All right. Then finally, well, not finally, 
Well, yeah, actually, almost finally, guys. Your reasoning. So again, you're going to introduce, you're going to start with that with an introduce reasoning phrase. Okay. And that is again on slide 12 or on the back of your handout. And you can do so. Therefore, this means it stands to reason. This suggests that. Um, just pick one. Put it in bold. This means. And then explain it. Blah, blah. Remember, you're explaining your quote like I don't understand life. <laughs> Right. So you're um, even if your quote is super duper clear and specific, you're going to explain it to me like it's not. OK. Oops. OK. So this means blah, blah. All right. Now you guys are going to be very excited for the next thing I say. Okay. The next thing, guys, is um, actually going to be our transition, but it's I'm changing something in this document that's going to change what kind of transition we're doing. And you guys, try. I, I need you to not get upset or cry. I think I'm going to make the essay a little shorter than I had planned. Don't cry. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Just kidding. I know you're like celebrating. So everybody watch really closely. I need you to be really pay attention to this. Okay. See how there's three boxes left? You're going to take the bottom two, the bottom two rows, and just do the format table, delete row. So your last row should just be the transition. Okay. If you need help with that, let me know. Okay. And now because you're not going to introduce a fourth piece of evidence, because that's what that would have made you do is have a fourth quote because you're not going to do that. Now this transition is just kicking it, kicking our reader to the closer, to the closing or the conclusion. Okay. <laughs> so that changes the kind of, um, um, it also kind of changes this. We're really just doing a transition. Uh, so let's look at the different kinds of transitions we can do. We're not going to use any of these. <laughs> Um, because those are all for another argument or a counterclaim. So let's see what we want to do here. You know, honestly, delete this box too. Delete that box. So your last thing should actually be the reasoning. So this one's only going to have three sentences. Another, your claim, your quote, and your explanation or your reason. Anybody upset about that? Okay. <laughs> Figure you can make it work, right? Okay. Um, so now I'm just going to give you time to work on this and, and ask for help if you need it. And um, we will do conclusions, hooks, and titles tomorrow. And you'll start editing and revising the next day, and then you'll submit. You guys are doing amazing. So, okay. Good job.